is certainly not Lexa Dixon, and this is not my vlog. It's this guy's vlog. And for payback, I'm going to interview him for a change. Oh boy. Yeah. So, what's your name and what's the longest time you've spent in prison? Uh, the name's Lex Dixon and I think 13 years. 13 years. Mm -hmm. There's a story there. Tell us about the vlog that you're running and what got you into it. I started tubing uh, a few years ago. Started doing some vlogs. I think it was mid last year that I sort of started around that time. Then I kind of gave up, and then some lovely, lovely person right here told me to keep going with it. So my vlog's pretty much an actor's life when not acting. I mean, there's there's all sorts of stuff on my channel. There's there's kittens, there's music reviews, there's music gigs, there's movie reviews, there's vlogs, just random bits and pieces, uh, visits of me visiting around Wellington, uh, the new segment, entertaining interviews. So what's the most interesting interview you've done so far? My first interview was with Special Effects New Zealand, with a couple of good friends of mine, Jake and uh, Chester. Just talking to them about, you know, what they've done and the fact that Chester's done special effects and whatnot for the likes of X-Files. Talking about their acting, talking about their upcoming web series. Where did the name Lexa Dixon came from? Lexa is simple, it's Axel Backwards. And Dixon, I'm a big fan of Daryl Dixon from Walking Dead. Do you think interviewers should avoid answering yes or no questions? Well, possibly. <laughs> when did you start acting? I suppose day one. My mum could probably even tell you that I was a bit of an actor since birth. Uh, but professionally, I started acting, I think it was around 2006. I had my first theatre production with the Christchurch Company Original Scripts. Uh, and that was, that was a pretty interesting challenge, you know, being up there and being on stage and... You know, you, you can't screw up, and if you do screw up, you've got to improv. And I was so new to this acting thing that I was scared that I was going to screw up and I wouldn't know how to improv. Not really what I want to do. Uh, I've kind of had enough of theatre. Funny I say that because I'm in a theatre production at the end of this month. But film and TV is kind of where I want to be. Yeah. When did you get your first film off? My first feature was A Moto in a Hard Place, shot in Dunedin. And I was one of three leads. That was a challenge. Uh, there was a lot of things I wasn't aware of, a lot of things I learned. So that was probably my first proper big deal was Motel and a Hard Place with the underdogs, Kirk and Luke Bremner. Where do you see yourself going from here over the next couple of years? In two years, I want to see myself going towards that zone of hopefully working in Shorten Street so then I can be noticed overseas. My long-term sort of goal is to work with Jack Black and Peter Jackson, both, you know, pretty big idols to me. I have had the chance to work with Peter, but only as an extra. That was still pretty rewarding, though. So, yeah, in a couple of years, I sort of wouldn't mind being sort of known for the YouTube stuff that I'm doing and for my acting, have maybe another one or two feature films sort of under my belt. I've been nominated for 48 Hour Film Fest before. It'd be nice to actually win Best Actor. So, it's kind of, yeah. Where I see myself, mainly recognition, not worried about too much fame or or being a millionaire in a couple of years. Another big passion of yours is music, of course. Yes. What, sort of, what sort of stuff do you get into? What are your favourite bands and what is it that drives you to... Music's always been a big part of my life. I went through a really hellish patch when I was younger. Back in those times, I was listening to a lot of hip-hop. There was a entertainment company called Dawn Raid Entertainment. I went to one of their gigs and they had the likes of At Ease, Fast Crew. Nowadays, rock and metal. It's a good chance to be able to positively get out some anger rather than going around smacking a few hundred people around the head. Yeah, my first gig was 50 Cent. But getting back to sort of music reviews and whatnot, I've been doing a bit of work for Aotearoa uh, under the same name as my YouTube name, Lexa Dixon, so you can check it out on aotearoa.co.nz. And last review that I did was for a crush itch band called Fall of Them. I probably should point out that we're not ha having some sort of spasm <laughs> or anything around here. It's just that my next door neighbour here has been doing his garden and we're getting a lot of flies coming over as a result of something up there. I think he might be making zombies, but I'm not entirely sure. Ah. 
I've got Lucille. And there's a reason why Lucille is in all of my entertaining interview videos. And that's because when I got her, I kind of fell in love. It was like my second love. So being a Walking Dead fan and whatnot, I wanted to incorporate a bit of entertainment into my entertaining interviews. Yeah, that's one thing I noticed about the film industry in New Zealand compared to overseas in that the real focus is on getting the job done, not mm. who does what. And we don't have this big blame culture that you always hear about with overseas entertainment industry. As a result of that, I've noticed that a lot of people have commented when they've come from um, the US and the UK and stuff and they're, they're shooting in New Zealand for the first time. They are um, always just blown away by the culture differences and how positive it is here. Yes, yes. It is a whole completely different scene here, and I suppose that's why there's a lot and going to be even more companies coming here to shoot stuff. Yeah, the, the film industry in New Zealand, I see that only growing and growing. Yeah, it'd be nice to see New Zealand sort of grow more and, and America sort of decline. <laughs> it's yeah. just my world that I'm living in, yeah. and then I don't have to go overseas or anything. I can just go, oh, there's a film up here, I'll get an audition. Yeah, at, at some point I'm quite keen on getting hold of a stealth helicopter and going over to LA, and I'm going to change that sign on the side of the hill to Hollington. Thanks for coming along, and... Uh, Thank you for having me. You were well ahead. Fantastic. Right, well, that's enough for him. Oh, you want me to go? Yeah. And because this isn't my vlog, I won't see you in the next one, but he will. Hi everybody out there in television land, I'm Chester Dexter. And I'm Jake Hull. Chester and myself, uh, we're based in Christchurch. Uh, Chester runs Special Effects New Zealand. Don't forget to click on subscribe, notification bell, the like, leave lots of comments below, click on all of these things that were up top, and see you later. Thank you.